Wherever there is water in the park, there are beavers engineering their own water world. Their dams create bogs where stagnant water reacts to layers of sediment to give off methane gases. The peat bottoms are also slow to thaw in the spring and it's possible to walk across the bogs on the frozen mattress of sphagnum and muskeg. Sphagnum is an ancient moss that can absorb up to 20 times its weight in water. The sphagnum forms a floating blanket over the bog and slowly but surely aids in the transition of a glacial lake into a forested land. In the center of the fen here, it's become very wet and sloshy. Yeah, slosh along. Yeah. A little bit of sphagnum right down in, uh, right down in here too. Right down in here, flooded okay. out. About the only tree that really likes the fen can grow here is the uh, larch or tamarack over towards the edge. And they can survive because they're very hardy. They withstand uh, very severe freezing of the roots. And also in the spring, this is frozen, but the uh, leaves warm up. That's very stressful for a typical tree because it is a drought stress. But the tamaracks survive that quite well. And that's why they can live in a, in a bog, is actually because they don't mind drought, which right. is a bit of a reverse. Right. You know, hardly anyone ever gets into a place like this because it's so wet and sloshy. Um, one good thing about this uh, park is that we've got that boundary bog nature trail. From summertime, we usually will take the general public or maybe even school groups out to places like boundary bog and experience some of this kind of fen and, and muskeg environment. <laughs> They caught a leaf! I got something. That's it. Dip upside down, guys. For the leaf! When the increasing acidity of the bog slowed down the process of decomposition and thus the release of essential nitrogen, the pitcher and sundew plants found their own solutions. They became carnivorous. As the sensitive hairs of the plants are triggered by protein-rich insects, they close and digest their victims. In order to work the trap, the plants use the acid of the bog. This is the creek, uh, mud creek that for flows from Amiskawan Lake down to Waskasu Lake. This little misfit creek in the bottom of a glacial meltwater channel it kind of winds gently back and forth and back and forth. Mm -hmm. and it's excellent habitat for lots of species. Moose and beaver, of course, dam it up and make more uh, uh, habitat for other species. For more information, visit our website on topoftheworld.net.